Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Adam Schaefer, and today we are bringing you guys our MAPS performance program, our MAPS Green. So if you've been following along the series over the last month, we have been letting you guys test drive all the programs that we sell at Mind Pump Media. So all of our programs have multiple phases. This one, MAPS Green, has four different phases. What Sal is going to do today is we're going to take you guys through the first phase, just five days of the first phase. So this gives you an opportunity to kind of test drive what the workouts are like. This one right here, it's MAPS Performance, so this is great for those athletes. If you guys are looking for mobility, strength, durability, this is all the things that we're going to cover full spectrum in this program. But we're going to break down all the exercises, and then at the end of the video, Sal's going to break down the science and the programming of why we structured this the way we did. So hope you guys enjoy this. Tune in, make sure you guys subscribe and share this video. All right, welcome to foundational workout one of MAPS Green, MAPS Performance. Now we're doing a barbell squat here, but the tempo is important. Notice the, sm the slow controlled descent and the fast explosive positive portion of the rep. That is very important. The tempo is extremely important in these workouts. Real controlled on the way down, about four or five seconds down, one second up. Right. Mechanics are pretty much the same that we've taught you guys in the MAPS RED program. The only difference is the tempo. So make sure you guys hang around till the end of the video where Sal wraps this all together. Remember, keep your core tight. Keep your feet planted. Don't let the knees cave. Nice, tight posture. All the other cues we've given you in the past with the barbell squat. Another key when you're on that bottom, because you are doing this kind of explosive on the way up, the first thing I'd like to cue my clients is to tighten your abs, brace the core right before you explode back up. Perfect, Adam. Coming up next, bench press. All right, we're on the bench press. We've done this exercise before. Same form, feet on the floor, arch on the back. The difference is the tempo. You want to go down real controlled, and you want to explode on the way up. Again, real similar to the cues with the squat that I give clients is when you get to the bottom of the exercise, so as the bar gets down towards his rib cage, he's going to activate his glutes, squeeze his abs, brace, and then explode up. This will help keep him in that neutral, fixed position while he's pressing the bar. Perfect. Coming up next is the high pull. All right, so we are on to the high pull. This is a very technical movement. So you'll see Paul is starting out with just the weight so we can work on the explosiveness of this exercise. As he's lifting the bar up, driving with his elbows, he's also throwing his hips forward. So he's squeezing his butt, throwing the hips forward as he drives up with his elbows. You always want to pause at the bottom and then explode at the top. So that's the, it's all about the form here with this movement. It's very, very technical. So start slow, get the hang of it, and then start throwing some power into the movement again he's starting with just the bar to illustrate that you can do this movement without that much weight for all of our youtube trolls that want more detail on this exercise we have done a couple videos on this movement with greater detail if you're having a hard time with this exercise excellent coming up next the pull-up all right this is a standard pull-up with a little bit more explosiveness that's in right it so you pull yourself up quickly come down real controlled and then repeat the explosive movement again. It's all about the tempo with this particular program. That's right. If you do this correctly, too, you're probably not going to be able to do that many of these pull-ups. Good control still. You're going fast, but you still have good control. Coming up next, overhead press. All right, Sal. We are now moving on to the push press. Now, a push press is a little bit different than an overhead standing press because it's explosive. You're boosting with the legs. You want to go down with good control, use the legs to boost the weight up, press it up above your head, come down with good control, and repeat. So even though this movement is explosive, notice Paul does resist it on the way down. He loads the legs up and then explodes. So he's getting some leg drive and then exploding over his head, and then he actually stabilizes for a second up top before he decelerates. Excellent. Coming up next is the MAPS Side Chop. All right, we're doing the side chop with the band. The tempo, again, explosive on the positive portion of the rep. So when he comes out and twists, that's explosive. When he comes back, nice and controlled to reposition, get good form, and repeat. Notice his head follows his hands in the rotation. He stays nice and sta stationary with his feet. It's all on his torso. And again, resisting the way back and then exploding in that rotation. All right, so you are in phase one of MAPS Performance. Now, remember, MAPS Performance was specifically designed to maximize what we call full spectrum or broad spectrum athletic performance. So what does that mean? That means you're strong, 
you're fast, it means you've got good stamina, uh, what we call a good gas tank. It means you can move in multiple planes without injuring yourself. You can transfer that strength and power to the field or to everyday life. A lot of people like that kind of fitness just because it feels good to be able to do uh, lots of different things. Uh, I, I like that feeling myself. So with math performance, we have four phases. Each of those phases focuses on different types of adaptation. Now the first phase is raw strength. That's the exercises that you did and the sets and reps kind of reflect that, which I'm going to get into in just a second. Now you may be wondering, why raw strength first? Why not start with power and agility or stamina? Why start, start with strength? Strength is the foundation for all physical pursuits. So without a good solid base of strength, you're not going to have good power and your stamina is not going to matter much because if you're not strong, you're going to tire out much quicker. So it's important to build that foundation before you move into the later phases. Now, unfortunately, on this channel, you're only going to get phase one, but that's okay. Phase one's pretty awesome. So if you follow this, you should get fantastic strength re results. So let's talk about the exercise you did in today's workout. The first exercise, barbell squats, of course, the king of all exercises, five sets, three repetitions. So we're doing a lot of sets of this particular movement, low repetitions. You don't want to go to failure. It should feel heavy. It should be intense, but you don't want to lift to failure. We're trying to stimulate the muscle, not annihilate the muscle. That's a quote from the famous Lee Haney. He's a bodybuilder from back in the day. If you're old and you don't know him, you better look him up. Next exercise was the bench press, another foundation movement, three sets, three repetitions, high pulls. This is more of an explosive movement. Uh, far more technical. Uh, my advice to you, go light with high pulls. Perfect your form before you start to challenge yourself with weight because if you do these wrong, the risk of injury is quite high in this particular position. You're not lifting the weight with a high pull. You are exploding it up uh, and bringing it up rather quickly. Uh, by the way, all these movements uh, that you did today and for this whole first phase, you want to go, you want to lower the weight with good control. You want to pause for a second and you want to explode up but you want to explode with controlled strength. It isn't necessarily a power phase, so you're not trying to jump out of a squat, for example, but you are trying to come up out of a squat with good power and good force. The next exercise you did, uh, pull-ups, of course, uh, probably one of the best bodyweight movements you can do. You can use weight around your waist if you find that you're doing more than five repetitions. You're only doing two sets of that one. Overhead press, three sets, three to six, six reps. Now we're calling it a push press. And that's because you're not strictly pushing it up. You're setting it on your chest, getting real tight, and you're going to give yourself a little bit of a boost at the bottom. So there's a little bit of a power component with this. We believe that the push press is more functional than a strict overhead press. However, one caveat, if you're totally new to an overhead press, don't do the push press, do it strictly. So that's maybe different than when you're watching this video. That's okay. If you're not used to these, do them strict first because a push press requires more skill um, which means if you do it wrong, higher risk of injury. The last exercise, your MAPS side chop. That's for that rotational strength. Very important that you have that. We included that at the end because we didn't want to fatigue those muscles before you did something like a squat. Not a good idea to do those first. If you did these first and then did a squat, now you're going to lose some stability in your trunk when you're trying to do heavy squats. It's probably not going to turn out uh, that good for you. Tomorrow, we are doing mobility. It's all mobility tomorrow. Math performance has really good functional mobility movements. So it's not as correctional as some of our other programs. It's much more, of course, performance based or performance focused. So the mobility sessions themselves are a little bit of a workout. Uh, but when you do those mobility movements, they will improve your function and your ability to move in the following workouts. Look, these workouts are best done with partners, with friends. They don't have to be there with you, but it's always fun to have other people doing them, even remotely. So take this video, share it with someone, see if they'll do the workouts with you. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. And finally, subscribe to this channel. It's the best channel on YouTube.